wife sought me out. Because, poor deluded creature, she believes in me. Well, if you don't share that belief, why come here? Oh, I, I asked myself that very question. Don't push me, Dr. Lowe. Lionel. I, I came here because I was taught from childhood to serve a, a, to serve a, a purpose. As soon as Charles Edwards stood in front of that microphone as King George, and as he produced his first speech, flawed with nerves and a convincing stammer, that echoed across the huge Theatre Royal, I immediately forgot its previous film, film success with Oscar-winning performances. Through a clever set that used a rotating stage and projections of real black and white footage from that time in history, I was immediately absorbed into the production. Both Charles Edwards and Jonathan Hyde produced stunning performances, and although Charles Edwards did hold a slight resemblance to Mr Colin Firth himself, I was not comparing the two actors' performances of King George, or rather Bertie, but enjoying his wonderful interpretation that conveyed his struggles and eventual triumph at the end of the play. I particularly felt Jonathan Hyde produced a witty, eccentric and lovable Lionel Logue, and the two actors complemented each other as they brought these two opposite characters, growing friendship to life, eventually leading to the poignant scene that particularly stood out in his play, when Bertie realises he actually does have a voice and stands up for his friend Lionel, someone he can trust more than his own brother and father, as he is thrust into the pressures of becoming king. M. Fielding also brought a delightful performance as Bertie's wife, the future queen, and the three actors both brought comedy, but then very touching performances that were truly a joy to watch. I think any production that has to follow such a huge film success is brave and risky. But this was certainly worth the risk, and the play should give itself credit for living up to such high expectations, with laughter, tears, and an own dedication to the King George himself. It is an unforgettable performance that should not be missed or compared to the film, and should stand on its own two feet as an unmissable piece of theatre. <laughs>